I'm not gonna try to hide it, I have notes. Nobody else did. Um, sorry. So, did you know the first satellite photos of the Earth were taken in August 1959 by the U.S. satellite Explorer 6? And the resolution was over 30 meters. We've come a long way since then, and today Digital Globe has a constellation of three satellites, all capable of sub-meter resolution. Uh, our imagery is used for an array of applications in many industries, including agriculture, geology, forestry, biodiversity, conservation, regional planning, education, defense, and intelligence. The power of our satellite constellation is even more evident when natural disasters occur. On January 18, 2010, our constellation collected over 40,000 square kilometers of imagery over earthquake-stricken heat. Thank goodness catastrophes like Haiti do not happen every day. However, change does. And in order to accurately detect change, a robust imagery archive is a must. Digital Globe not only has more than 1 billion square kilometers in our archive, we collect an average of 1.5 million square kilometers a day. And it gets better. With Worldview 2, the only 8-band commercial satellite, we can get more information and do more than ever before. Automated feature extraction, for example, plus numerous land cover classifications. And in test cases, we've achieved this at an astonishing 95% accuracy. Tree cover classification has been used in the past to understand the environmental impact as a result of our growing communities. Today, we can take that a step further with eight bands. We can now see the trees for the forest. Forest classification has largely been limited to broad classification classifications such as forest, conif coniferous, and hardwoods. Today, with eight bands, we can identify individual species, such as longleaf pine and xeric oak. And it doesn't stop on land. With our four additional bands of Worldview 2, um, our imagery can also offer valuable marine information. This opens up new possibilities for environmental studies of reef, shoreline habitats, and more. And the following slides, which did not come out like I wanted, I apologize, but we were actually able to capture a, um, an airport every couple of seconds. And if you pay attention, you can actually see the planes moving on the, um, on the runway and cars on the streets. And it just shows the agility of our satellites. So thank you for your time. Thank you,